How you doing everyone? Thanks for coming back to part two of the interview with No Future. If you haven't watched the first part, I recommend you go and do that before continuing with this one. Anyway, let's go to the interview. Yeah, welcome to the vlog, to the vlog, welcome to the vlog, motherfucker. Welcome to the vlog, to the vlog, hope you enjoy your stay. For me personally, I feel like my like my goal setting has changed a little bit in, in terms of now I'll set a goal of when I'll uh, finish a song rather than when I'll release it, you know? Because then yeah. when I'm finished with it, then I can take, you know, because like every artist can relate to this. As soon as you finish a song, you want to release it the same second. Yes. Right? Like you want to release it the second that it's mixed and mastered and you get the final version from your engineer or whatever. Like you want to upload it straight away. Um, but unfortunately, that's, that's just not the reality of it. And I guess coming to terms with that and then just being a little bit more patient with your releases really, really does pay off. Yeah, because you also need to figure out the marketing and stuff. And maybe yeah. this is the hardest part of, of it all getting the music to people who will like it because you yeah. can get it to people but if they don't like it they're not going to listen it Absolutely. I mean, you want to reach you want to reach people who like it and i think this is so difficult you have so many people yeah so and there's, there's still a lot of competition to too out. everyone's everyone's fighting for someone's you know playlist yeah song. but it's maybe not a competition because if i look my playlist i have like so many different artists mm -hmm. i mean it's not really a competition. That's not how I feel. I more feel like how more music, how more options you have. So it's maybe more difficult to be that option. Okay, if, okay, if I, okay, okay. I, I understand how you put that. I, I like that. I, I like the way. I like the way you see that. That's that's a dope perspective. Yeah. Do Do you have anything else to add add on that, or should we move on to the next question? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Basically, let's just keep it simple and just like make music to mm -hmm. to get make people happy or maybe when they're sad that you can make them happy with your music and just try to find them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. But you gotta gotta put that time into the marketing. Otherwise, I guess at the end of the day, you know, of course, you know, make music just to make music. That's good. But if your aim is to get it to a lot of people. Yeah. You, you really need to put in the work. It's not just going to magically happen. No, <laughs> I think analyzing your stuff is very good. Like, for example, I look a lot in my insights on Instagram mm -hmm. or my Spotify dashboard and stuff. Yeah, I'm like, what works and what doesn't work? And what can I make for people to listen it? Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's, a, that's a big key. Keeping, keeping track of your analytics and seeing, you know, what yeah what's doing good and what's not doing good that's really really crucial that's really crucial yeah yeah man. yeah all right well we'll move on to the next question so you um you also sell beats on beat stars i'm not a producer at all so i know almost nothing about beat stars i don't use them personally for beats or anything either and in general i mean i have no experience selling beats um but you know if, ever since you've started selling beats do you think it's affected your creative process when making beats Yes, definitely, <clears throat> definitely, because, well, to be honest, I didn't sell any beats yet, but mm -hmm. it's fine. I mean, I did I did it consistent for like two months, three months now yeah. before I also did it. But I was like month consistent, month not, month consistent, month not, and this yeah. is not working. So I'm not giving up on this. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I don't sell now. Maybe in the future I will sell. I don't know. We will see. But for now, uh, what I learned from this is I make a beat and I export it. I make a cover art to upload it. And I just, the process behind it is also helping me in uploading to Spotify, finishing beats. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for example, I need to export all the different stems mm -hmm. and I need to have a file, like a full wave file. And I need to have a full wave file with my producer tag. Mm -hmm. Then I make a beat video for my YouTube channel. And I made a beat video for my Instagram. Right. So yeah, it that's gets, just it gets you process. creating a lot of content. And as you said, yeah. it's almost like it's almost like practice for once you do your yeah. upload to, to Spotify. Yeah. And just, and it just learns you so much. Like how can I be efficient? Like in the end, I was always putting stuff randomly in my computer, and now I learned to organize them. Mm -hmm. Just like organize all my stuff, and it goes so much better now. Now I organize everything, like everything has a specific name, nothing has a random name. Mm -hmm. And 
it also gives you less stress when you see your folder and you, sh you can find everything. Yeah, yeah. Because beginning, I was like, where did I keep this? Where did I keep that? I was getting mad because I just lost my files. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm just two clicks and I have it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Getting getting organized is definitely a big one. You absolutely need to get organized. And um, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. That, I think like, this, like, the, as, like, you know, as you, the more you do it, you just become so much faster at it as well. Yeah. You know, like, I, I think, yeah, go ahead. I think organizing is the most important part even. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I actually, one of the other interviews, I think it was, I believe it was Ignatius that also said the same thing. And it was the, it was the number one thing that he said he struggled with was keeping organized and that's something that you know he was he was working on a lot as well and i think it's it's i think it's pretty normal uh thing to struggle with because you know you're doing so many things besides you know your own regular life you're not just making the yeah. music as you said you know you're making promotional videos you're making banners you're making like cover photos you know, you're doing the marketing aspect of it too promoting on you know whatever websites and whatever too so there is there is a lot of a lot of pieces to actually organize together. Yeah, man. You have to do all, everything and you're just on your own. And maybe yeah. you have a few friends who can do some stuff, but in the end you have to do it yourself all at once. And some companies have 100 people for this. Yeah. You're doing this alone. Literally. But I think it's good. It will learn you. And as long as you don't give up, I think you will make it yeah yeah i think so too i think you know you have to do it all yourself so you can actually respect yeah. what it takes and understand everything that goes into it so when you are at a level where you have people doing this for you you can tell them what to do because you've already done it yeah. you know, you're not you're not going into it completely blind or you know uh without experience knowledge or yeah exactly experience all right all right so I'll, I'll move on to the last question now here now this is definitely the most important question of the interview um, none of the other questions really matter as much as this one. Um, okay. So prepare yourself. Um, would you rather drink a glass of your own urine or bathe in someone else's feces for five minutes? Can you repeat it? Drink some my own urine or? Take a bath, like clean yourself. Basically jump in a bathtub yes. filled with someone else's shit. For five minutes. Oh damn, man! <laughs> let me let me think. <laughs> but how much do I need to drink for my own urine? Or does one one matter? cup, one glass. So you're drinking one glass, like one cup of your own urine, or you're just sitting in a bathtub of I, someone I'm else. I'm drinking my own piss. <laughs> 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 so, so the volume. No, of I don't know. Matter. So I if, mean, I said, if I said like this much piss, would you have been like, no, this is this is too much piss? Well, I'm not gonna sit in a bed from someone else's shit, you know. So I think <laughs> I think it's better. It's not nice, but it's it's a better. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right too. I think I'd rather uh, just drink. And who knows? Drink. Maybe it will uh, do something good. You know? <laughs> I don't think so, but Maybe, uh, I definitely think you're more at risk in someone else's shit like you're probably going to get some sort of disease but my own piss? <laughs> no no not from your own piss your own piss oh, is the shit. sterile but shit is not sterile at all <laughs> yeah i think I, I would just throw up all the time yeah yeah no, like no. don't say I would, I would fill the bed with my uh <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're drinking piss and that's that's good to know. That's good to know. All right, so before before you know I send you off uh for your for your day and you can get to doing other stuff, you might know already that we've got a little challenge for these interviews oh. at the very end. You don't know, okay, even better. No. <laughs> I think I forgot. Okay, okay. It's it's a very easy challenge. So so okay. you, you don't you don't need to worry. Um the challenge is to say the alphabet as fast as you possibly can. Do you want to do it in Dutch? Try to do it as yeah, fast I'll as you possibly can in Dutch. Person that's done it the quickest so far did it in 2.5. How, how fast? 2.5. 2.5? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, so in Dutch? Yes, Dutch. Okay, all right, all right. I'm ready whenever you are. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, I, Z. Oh, okay. 
That was just under four and a half seconds. Oh, it's fine. It's just fine. Under four and a half seconds. That's right. Look, look. To be fair, to to be completely fair with you, I have no idea how those two guys got around two point five seconds. I oh, cannot. Me. I cannot get two point five seconds. And the funny thing is, is that both neither of them are rappers either. Both of them are producers as well. <laughs> Yeah, but so, as a producer, you need to think fast. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. I wonder if I'll get a rapper on here that can do it under two seconds. That'll be that'll be really interesting. Um, so I'll I'll give you I'll give you one more attempt, and you know, in re post recording and edit, I'll get the exact time. So it might even be quicker than four point five. My reaction time might just be really slow, but we'll see how you hold up in the end. Um, and don't worry, you're not going to be. There's definitely going to be other Dutch artists I interview as well. So like, you won't be the only one not doing it in English. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you can yeah have a, have another attempt now if you like at uh, at doing it in Dutch. I'll start whenever you're ready. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T V U V W X A Z. Oh, that was that was much faster. That was four point. Was it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a bit up in the end, but. I mean, I don't know the Dutch alphabet, but that sounded that sounded right to me. I, I'm pretty sure you said every letter. I'm, I'm fairly certain you said every. You were going, yes. you were going like really, really fast, and it was at the very end that you slowed down a little. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you would have gotten maybe. Yeah, I think you got. You ended up getting about 4.2 seconds on that time, but you might have been closer to 3.5 if if you didn't miss out that little end. Yeah. Um, but that's all right. That's all right. Thank you so much uh, for playing along. Um, and of course, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for letting us know more about your EP you and everything. You know, you you had to do yeah, to man. to get it I out. Like um, yeah. So, and obviously, you know, people there will be a link uh, below in the description. You can find his EP on all the streaming platforms and his Instagram page and all that. You'll be able to see on the screen. You should have been able to see on the screen the whole time throughout this interview. So make sure you go and support No Future. And um, yeah, go support him. He's got a lot of stuff coming up as well. And yeah, thank you for your time. And I'll if you really you want know. something, listen to Smoke Train. Yeah, <laughs> Smoke Train. Yeah, that's definitely. Don't worry about the rest of the EP. Just listen to Smoke Train. Just Smoke Train. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. Thank anyways, you. thank you for your time, man. Peace out. Peace out, man. It's a trip. I'm a blip on the map. It's so big. Whoa.